What's up, man? Phil X. Let's run through the gear. Yes. There's a couple I had stashed. I'll get some more now. Just so you guys. Almonds. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm using this Friedman here. And this is a spare. This Friedman is going to an ISO cabinet with a Friedman 412. It's got two mics on it, a 57 and a 421. And then Bango, Supro uh, prototype of a, a 100 watt head, because they've never done a, a 100 watt head before. So that is actually going into the hot plate for a load only, and then a DI to the Digitech cab driver, which is a cabinet simulator. So I'm running a cabinet and a cabinet simulator because both have really cool qualities and when you blend them together, you get the best of both worlds. This is the splitter box, so I can go into two heads. And Trace, my man, he runs the talk box with this. So it's four, is it four? Yep. So this is the two amps running, or whatever and spare. the fuck. And spare. And this is, when I need talk box, he steps on that. Because when I'm doing talk box, I can't look down and switch it on and off because it's like, uh, well, well, hold on. So that kind of thing, it's really quick. And I don't have that coordination. So let's go through some guitars, man. Let's start over here. This puppy has been delivering. All stock, 355. Fantastic. It just has the sound. This is beautiful. I've been using this as a loner. We're in Nashville. So Gibson just dropped this off for me to check out. And uh, using that for a couple of tunes. We have the Hummingbird, which is also a loner because I left mine at home so I could bring more electrics. Because it's all about electrics. Um, this thing sounds amazing. Um, uh, we, they had Gibson had one 12 string and they sent it to me and I, I left it at home so I'm, I'm actually using this loner uh, Taylor for one dead or alive that's a showstopper this is a Shabbat custom he had me in mind when he put this together he put my pickups in it Avi's an amazing dude this is Karina and it's got this beautiful maple neck. This thing sounds fucking so good. And then moving right along, yeah, yeah. This also has been delivering incredibly. 355, 335 with dog ears. I had them send me little shims so I could raise the pickups a little bit because I like, I get more rock and roll out of it that way. This is a spare. This is a really, we tried this yesterday and it sounds great, but I brought my gold top and it's got the Arcane uh, PX8 pickup, which has a little more, uh, it's more even to me. It sounds, it just sounds really great. And the, the highs are really, really sweet. Um, we haven't used this yet, but this just came. This is an Ernie Ball uh, Sabre. Uh, obviously, uh, it, some of the guitars that I, I, some of the songs need a whammy bar. So I, I use this and another one that we're gonna get to. They actually put a, bi a bigger neck on it for me. So I was really happy about that. If you remember I, on the last tour in Europe, I had a Sabre, but it had a skinny neck. And then I said, you know, this guitar would rock more if it had a bigger neck. And they did that for me. This is a Les Paul Custom, three pickups. Uh, ebony fretboard, it's really spanky because of that. The ebony fretboard. This is an actually awesome guitar. I brought the V that is locked in. I, I've used this at a couple of drill shows. And I, I have to change this knob because when I'm singing, I gotta know what I'm grabbing. <laughs> this, you've seen this on YouTube. I did uh, on fire, I mean, I did the fire cover with this guitar. And uh, this thing, it's got Wolverine right there until my son asks for it back. This guitar has also had, has been really performing great. This is a, a 97 58 Historic in black, which I found out later was really rare. And it's got the, the beautiful fat neck that I love. And this one actually has Seymour Duncan Antiquities in it, 
which is what it came with. And with me, I love changing pickups out, but if a guitar sounds great out of the box, I don't mess with it. And thank you, Seymour. Antiquities, killer. This guitar is my, this is one of my fave Les Pauls. I had uh, Mark Van Gool put the toggle from here. Wait, this lights up. Here to here, and then we put the light there. And this is also a PX8 made by Arcane. And this has a, a, the 57 neck, and I love the dark back. Usually gold tops have a light wood in the back. This is called a dark back. What knob did you take off to put the... Oh, the, the tone control for the neck pickup. Because if you got a tone, if you got a neck pickup, you don't need a tone control, I don't think. This is my 64 Junior. I'm using this. It's got this really nice snap to it um, because of the dog ear. And I'm using, I'm using this for uh, Who Says You Can't Go Home and Lost Highway. This is a Lux Tone. A Lux Tone Choppa S. And uh, this, okay, so Jerry at Lux Tone, we've been friends for years, and he said, I want to, you know, get you a guitar. So he got me this. And the, the thing about this is he also put a PX8 in here. But he put this, now, it's not a very, I mean, it's actually a very common wire wiring. This is a master tone. Usually a treble pickup in a Strat doesn't have a tone, which is the one that needs it the most, in my opinion. But here, this is a master tone, and this is a blend to blend these two pickups so that it's a, you get more telly tones. The thing is, I've seen it done before, I've heard it before, the what he did, the way he did it, this thing is the best blend knob I've ever heard. So I don't know what he did, so if you wanna know what he did, ask Jerry at Lux Tone. And that's all the guitars. We're only doing a seven song set for iHeart and we're doing, we're performing the new album top to bottom. So, you know, I didn't want to bring more guitars. Um, should we hit the pedals? Yeah. Should sure. I pick my ear? Let's go. Hit. So, um, somebody mentioned the Malloy on my pedal, the Malloy, it's usually called the Melody, made by J Rocket Pedals. So, this is a prototype in a Melody box, so that's why I wrote Malloy on it with the, uh, some letters. This is a custom saucy box by WayHuge. They put it in a Phil X box with Wolverine claws making an X, which is the coolest art thing I've ever seen on a pedal, but that was done for me. Um, I used three. Uh, because I'm actually running the amps a little cleaner so I can uh, because the new record is a, a little cleaner so I wanted to be able to present how it was recorded and uh, so the RC booster is a little bit the way huge is a little more and the melody the, the melody or Malloy is a lot um, what else? The Hardwire Chorus. I think it's one of the best chorus pedals you can get. It's, I think it's amazing. Uh, the M Inside H9. The MXR Talk Box. That. Trace Controls with a magic button. The Exotic Wah, which I don't even know if I'm using a Wah this the next few days. I was using this, the Flint, which is a great pedal. I use it in the studio a lot, but I, I ended up not using it, so I opted for a third overdrive to have different tonal abilities, capabilities, whatever you want. The noise suppressor, I don't even know what it does. It suppresses, it suppresses noise, dude! And then the tuner, and that's it, man. Um, I got a 58, beta 58 for vocals. I got the 50, uh, the SM57 for the hose. Um, I got tape for extra picks. I got this industrial hose cover. Um, and uh, I think that's it. That's everything, right? It's not a lot of stuff when you think about it. Is it a lot of stuff? It's not a lot of stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the input, Trace. And let me get Trace. Let me get Trace. This is Trace. Trace is amazing. I'm smiling underneath this. He, Trace, is amazing. And Trace, he works with, he's worked with so many people that I, I you know, he goes, hey man, why don't you take this gift? And it's like an Angus Young pick because he works for Angus. So that's pretty amazing when I ask him about Angus stuff. And uh, he's worked with so many other amazing players. Like 
Phil X. <laughs> Dude, okay, so they're, you know, they're like, hey, you need somebody local in Nashville. And I'm like, where does Trace Foster live? <laughs> and they're like, oh, by, by chance, he lives in Nashville. <laughs> so I was very happy to hear that news. And he's a bro, man. He's a bro. Okay, see you guys soon.